it's Carissa and I'm here with another card for you and my basic idea for this card was I wanted to make you know a package of cards for somebody that would give them a few different birthday cards to use a few thank you cards to use and that sort of thing but I didn't want to have to like come up with you know a different idea for each one so my idea was to just take this one card and have this element on it where just the sentiment could change and it could go for anything. So that was my idea here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So for my first step, I'm going to take my Pretty in Pink cardstock. And it has been sponged around the edge. And I'm going to take this stamp, which is from the um, Vintage Vogue stamp set that's in the New Occasions mini catalog. And on this piece of Pretty in Pink paper, I'm just going to stamp this kind of randomly along the top. The bottom's not going to matter because I am going to um, put a piece of the designer series paper along the bottom. And so I just need a little bit of, you know, texture so it's not boring at the top. So that's that. And then I can just mat it on this piece of chocolate chip cardstock. Now, this cardstock is cut at, let me think for a minute, four by five and a quarter, this chocolate chip. And so this is then three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. So it's just one quarter of an inch smaller than your standard mat size. I'm sorry, an eighth of an inch. I'm having a really hard time today. My brain is um, not functioning well. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I've got a lot on my mind. Maybe it's going back to school. I don't know. Okay, so I'm just gonna mount that there and just get it on there evenly, which I did not do. And so I will just make a quick adjustment. There we go, that's better. And then I have a craft card base that this will go on, but I'm not, I'm not gonna do that yet. Don't you like how my brain's working today? It's like here and there and everywhere. This piece of designer series paper is cut at five by two inches. And it's just going to go right along the bottom of this. Now you're going to notice that there's a little bit of a border on this as well. And that's okay. I, I did it like that on purpose. So this will just mount on there like that. So there's a little pink border around that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And now I'll take either, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do here. Not sure if I have this pink taffeta ribbon, which if you were making a lot of these, maybe you don't want to tie a whole bunch of bows, but um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do this and tie it, or if I want to do this and just loop it around the back. But what I think I'm going to do is go ahead and use the pink taffeta ribbon. And I like this too because the particular person that I am thinking about making these for, she is not a stamper or a crafter of any kind. And she's always asking me now, how much postage do I have to use if, you know, it's really bulky or whatever. The taffeta ribbon is nice because even when you tie it and the knots on there, it's not really bulky. So if you can keep it, you know, the rest of the card kind of down and low profile, then they probably won't need extra postage. My um, cards tend to be kind of bulky sometimes, and then I have to use the 64 cent stamps, which are these dolphin stamps, and I'm not really crazy about them, but it is what it is, and you have to use them. So there's that. And then my last element, really, before I um, put it on here, is just this little shape. Now I cut this using my Cricut cutter. You could, you don't have to have a Cricut or anything like that to achieve the same look. If you have punches that layer, you can do this as well. I just wanted a little fancier punch, or I'm sorry, a little fancier shape than just a circle or a square, but a circle and a square would look just fine too. So I'm just going to take this and I'll take chocolate chip ink and stamp my sentiment on it. Now, What's great is that you, if you have the Teeny Tiny Wishes stamp set, there's, you know, this will take care of all, all the things that you need. If you want something a little scriptier um, and kind of foofier, I guess, you could go with the um, Sincere Salutations. Both are really good starter sentiment stamp sets. 
So I just have this little Thinking of You stamp from the Teeny Tiny Wishes stamp set. And I can just stamp it right on there. Right there. And then what I might, I think what I'll do on this is take this stamp again. And because it's such a light ink, I can just go over it. It won't even matter. And I'll just stamp it on there to give that a little bit of texture too. And then so I'll go ahead and mount this on here. So that's mounted there, and I've tied in, you know, that looks really great. I'm glad I um, kind of did that. And then I'll just take some dimensionals and just put these on the back of this. Now if you're worried about extra postage, maybe you want to leave the dimensionals off, but maybe I will just include some stamps in there. And then what I want to do is instead of having this be, um, you know, like straight on middle line with this, I'm going to go ahead and move it to where it's slightly towards the bottom on this and then just put it on there like that. And then the final step is just to mount it right on here. So I'll just take my snail adhesive and just do that very quickly. Now, if your adhesive, your snail adhesive is cooperating, you can go straight across that ribbon. And I kind of like to do that sometimes because it helps keep the ribbon from sliding around too. So then you will just mount this right on there. And there's your card. And like I said, just change this sentiment and stamp a bunch of different ones birthday, thinking of you, thank you, and you have a great little gift pack of cards that you can put together. Very quick and very easy for a friend or sister-in-law or whatever. And um, maybe, I know that my sister-in-law who's getting these doesn't watch these videos, So, but if she did, she would know that these are for her because she loves pink and brown. But anyway, I will be back soon with another video, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.